The following program is suitable for family viewing. Well, non-family members can join in too. Good day everyone, happy new year to you all. I'm here again on Taste Buds and I'm going to take you on a wonderful culinary journey. Today I have a lovely dishes to prepare for you. So let's go on a break. Welcome back to Taste Bud. Today I'll be preparing for you crumb chicken breast and vegetable spaghetti. To do this, we'll be needing this ingredient. Here I have a green bell pepper, I have yellow bell pepper, I have fresh tomatoes, I have carrots, I have um, onions, I have breadcrumbs, I have egg, egg old chicken, I have flour, I have um, fresh garlic, I have salt and I have hard beans that's containing um, onion powder, white pepper, black pepper, all mixed together. Then a little bit of um, chicken seasoning mixed together. Let's start the cooking. So, before we start, we need to peel off the chicken skin, as I told you earlier on. So, after peeling it off, you get a very sharp knife. So, you can see it from here. You slice, because we need a tiny slice chicken breast so that it will be easy to cook and easy to crumb so you can get piece like three pieces off or two pieces off so you have to be very careful you can see the way I'm holding my knife so that the knife doesn't slip into your fingers so let's just get like three more you can do it like this in order to avoid cuts and injury so let's just get one more piece off so you avoid the cartilage, that's a little bit bone, so that it doesn't get crunchy in your mouth. So we're fine with that. Then we season up with our abs miss. You can see the way I'm doing it. You don't get it too much so that I don't over season it. You turn it the other way around. So then you can tender it more. So in order to make it very tender because it's tender chicken breast so fine then we make sure we break our eggs so just watch because you're wondering you might be wondering what i'm going to use my head to do so just watch and see what i'm doing with it so break your egg Careful, you don't let the shells go into it. So, we'll find we just two eggs. You whisk it together, the yolk and the egg white all together. So, now we now crumb it. So, to, to crumb any, anything, either chicken, either beef, either prawns, anything you want to crumb, the first thing you need is your flour followed by the hair wash, then lastly the breadcrumbs. So what we'll do, I'll start with the flour, I'll baste it a little bit, not too much. So you can dust it off. The reason why I'm putting this flour on it is to make sure the egg wash doesn't wash off and the crumb to hold together to the crumb, uh, to the chicken breast. So the egg wash is just like um, the glue to the paper. So when the egg wash is on it, it makes it it makes the crumb stay on it. While frying, it doesn't dust off into the oil. So I bust off the, the remaining one. Not too much, just slightly. Then you put it into the egg wash. Then you put it into the crumb. So you can see it's holding it together. So you can, you can bring it to your, your board. See? Put that aside. That's that's settled, put it on a flat plate. So you repeat the same process. So that's it. 
so um another way to do this you can for people that doesn't like chicken you know everybody is not chicken lover you can try it with um prawns you can try it with beef just same process you get a nice fillet beef that is very soft or prawns or fillet fish that's a white soul fish so you can try it with that too so it's all lovely with that so if you are not if you don't like chicken and you want to try it so don't just be displeased that how, why is this chef using chicken alone so you can try it with other things too so while we're done with that keep that aside so let's clear this off a bit we don't need this for now keep it aside so so i will keep that aside let's go quickly to our pasta so you get water to your pot to boil the pasta so let's get the water boiling while the water is boiling we'll cut our vegetables so so you can add salt so while boiling pasta another tip for boiling pasta make sure some people just um, put your water and they immediately had the pasta so it's not always fine that way whatever whenever you want to boil pasta the first thing you do you get a boiling water you had a little salt preferably and you had a little oil preferably but most times you had salt to eat it's not until when it's done you now start adding salt so you just add the salt to the water it boils together so that the flavor is already in the water so you wait for it to boil before you add your pasta. So that's on that tip. You can always get that on taste board only. That's why I always enjoy you to watch taste boards to keep watching it because here you get lovely cooking tips and lovely cooking recipe. So while the water is boiling, let's just go on to our cutting of our vegetables. So all we need to do now is to get our vegetables cut. So, all we need is, we need our onions, so split it into two, you can do it in um, shredded form, so you just go this way, quietly and gently, so turn it the other way around, you can see my hand, but if you are still in, I just do it very slowly, so that you don't cut the knives into your hand. So, for the green pepper, you slice the tip off. So the top is still very useful. So make sure you don't discard that. Just remove these nodes out of it. Then you go to the bottom, you slice it up. Then there's another thing, another tip I just want to chip in quickly. If you notice, there is this um, three nodes or four nodes under this bell pepper. If you notice it, it's two species. We have the female type and we have the male type, if you don't know. So for this, Pepper now is a female type because it has four nodes. But if it is if it is the male type, we have only three nodes. So that's another tip if you don't know. And you might wonder why I'm telling you this. Because you're on taste board, you're watching it, you can only get that tips on taste board. So you do that way, put it all together, shred it quickly. So I do that, keep that aside. Then some people love tomatoes a lot. So if you have the tomatoes over, you can add as many as possible. So then I yellow bell pepper, you can just use the half of it because we have a whole big one here. So let's just shred that too. So while our water is boiling, it's almost boiling up. Keep that aside also. So you can just imagine what kind of lovely color the vegetable pasta is going to take form. So, shred, we want to shred our carrots also because there's a vegetable pasta. So all our vegetables are going to be shred, shredded rather. So, go this way. 
so gently so that you don't cut your fingers for the people that are still learning but for professionals we can go fast but for you that are still learning just do it in a rocky way very slowly so in another form a lot of people do hear julien 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 they wonder what julien word is julien is a french word which means um it can which means matchstick form if you can quickly um if you can look at this you can see it's just like a matchstick so it's a julian form it's a french word in english word you call it matchstick or like your finger shape so that's what julian means so anytime you come across the word julian maybe in a recipe you don't understand you just quickly know that we're talking about matchstick form so that you don't get lost so we're always telling you keep watching taste board because that's where you can get lovely cooking tips and broaden your knowledge on cooking so while our water is boiling I think let's just add a little bit of tomatoes to it so you can go all the way taking off the tip the top of the tomatoes then you shred it this way the reason why I'm not taking out the um the ovaries is because I want juice I want juice so when I had the ovaries to heat, it gave me juice from it, it secretes out the juice so that it can make the pasta a little bit juicy so that everything doesn't look too dry because we have already dry, um, what's it called, crumb chicken breast to complement that. So, Noah, to complete this, we need to seal all this chicken breast because you wonder what I'm still doing with this chicken breast. All we need is just a nice non-sticky pan to seal it off. So let's just get a nice non-sticky pan. And you can use butter, you can use um oil, you can use um soy soy uh what's it called? Sesame oil. So any of the three oils, you can use the sesame oil, butter, um, margarine, um, vegetable oil, olive oil. Just name any of the oils you feel like using, any of your choice. So you put a little oil, you can see it, you can see it's just a little oil, not too much, so that the thing doesn't get soaked. So you leave it on the medium heat. So I think our water is boiling, so let's just add. A little pasta some is their choice why hiding pasta to the boiling water they break it into two but all the professional we don't break it you just throw it into the water while it's boiling you see the magic in it now so while it's boiling you just leave it to definitely sink down into the hot water you can see it so you don't need to just make sure it press into it so you don't need to break it because this is the way Italians cook their pasta. They don't, they don't always break their pasta. They leave it all. Because that's the beauty about pasta. You leave it all. By the time it's done, it gives you a nice, lovely presentation of your food. So we leave that. While we're we waiting for the oil to be hot. So you just seed it off. When I mean seed it off, it's just to make sure it's a bit cooked partially cooked that's what I, what I mean by seal off so you had your crumb chicken breast you can add it to it so you let it cook on each side for like let's say 20 to 30 seconds so you leave it in the fire so the next thing after that after this we take it to the microwave then if you have oven you can pass it to your oven so you just lay it on your oven tray so while the pasta is spoiling you can just keep um stirring with something like this a fork or a spoon so that to avoid lumps so that it doesn't boil and stick together so you just check it occasionally to avoid that so you can turn it around hmm. so you just have to make sure that it's brown on the side before you turn it around so this is not brown I still have to leave it so so I have to wait for every one of it to be brown before I turn it because that's going to give it uh, you can see what I'm saying you can see 
from here. You can see the brown creeps on it. So turn it on each side. You can see that's another love the brown one. Then just turn it. So that. Then we wait for it to seal on the other side too. So while our pasta is boiling. So now seal on this side so you can now lay it on your plates and pass it to the microwave if that's what you have but if you have oven you can make use of your oven too so we just lay it so this is going to cook for inside the microwave for about let's see four to five minutes in the microwave but if it's in the oven it's going to cook for about let's say also like five minutes five minutes so very crispy and lovely. So I know you're already celebrating now. So let's put it in the oven. Let's leave it for five minutes. Five minutes. So while that is on, let's check on our pasta. So let's just check this. So let's just leave it a bit. So normally, for you to boil, a well done pasta should not boil more than 10 minutes. All I don't is for seven minutes to eight minutes. Then Less than I don't, I don't know, it's like five minutes, but the professional way to boil the pasta is nothing less than 10 minutes and seven minutes. I'll add on seven minutes to eight minutes, then 10 minutes. So if your pasta is boiling above 10 minutes, then it means you didn't put it into boiling, hot boiling water. So let's check. So while that is going on, let me just get a sieve. We're gonna, so. Some people call it sieve, some call it um, colander, but the colander is a bit different from this, but this, this is a sieve. Okay. So, while that is getting ready, let's just check our pasta. So, meanwhile, while this cooking thing is going on, I want to just give you another tip. Now, you want, to, um, you want to saute this vegetable, you want to mix it with the pasta. The first thing you get into the pan is the onions, followed by the carrots. You wonder why I'm choosing that, those two first. The reason why I'm choosing those two first is that they cook a little bit, um, they are a little bit hard. So for you to make them tender, especially the carrots, you need to cook it a little bit long, let's say like one to two minutes. But you see the remaining vegetables, they are very, very tender, they cook fast and you still want the color to come out in your presentation. So first of all, you start with your onions and your carrots. And the reason why we go first with the onions is that when you start sharing the onions in your hot pan on the medium heat, it goes from this normal color to transparent, brown a bit and golden color. So it gives it a kind of different and attractive color. So it kind of unifies your color of vegetable. So pasta is almost done. So it's almost set. So why that is going on? Let's just quickly check on my on my crumb chicken. So wow. So I think the pasta should be ready by now. Let's just check it. Okay. almost so you can easily keep some things aside then i'm still going to add my garlic to give it a very the chinese people don't play with garlic and you know garlic is very very healthy herbs a lot of people just look at it garlic what's it garlic is very very good it's good for the heart it prevents a lot of cancerous things that might want to come into your body so I advise you whenever you want to cook, just make sure you have a spice of garlic in it because it helps your health a lot. So I don't play with it. Garlic and ginger, uh, coriander, your thyme, your bay leaves, all those, all those herbs. Just name it. They are very, very good for the health, for your body. So always make sure you use all those things in your cooking because it helps a lot. It prevents a lot of cancer and all those stuff. The doctor might warn you about so when you eat a lot of it it sends you away from the doctor 
So, they can only get that on taste board. Lovely. So, let me get my pan and let me see, strain the water out. Slowly like that. And I bring it back to my station. So, next thing I have to do is to mix it all together. So, I add a little oil. Not too much. Because you are using a non-stick pan, so you don't need too much oil. So, it's just a little that you need. So, we'll go first with the garlic. Yes, then we'll go to the onions. Wow. You can feel the aroma of the garlic. That's one lovely thing about garlic. So, I wonder how it doesn't, why won't it prevent cancerous things in your body? Because of the smell, it's a strong hard. It kills a lot of things in the body that the body doesn't need. And I want to harm our body. So, it keeps stirring, keeps stirring. You can toss it if you want. And you add your carrot to make it tender. And your carrot. I leave it to stir together a bit. Tender a bit. So, while that is going on, let me just quickly check on my... Wow. This is lovely. Wow. This is lovely. So, let's just keep this aside. And dab the oil out. So, can I add the tomatoes to give you the juice I said I wanted in it? So, you keep stirring, keep stirring. Can I add your peppers, red and yellow, um, yellow and green pepper to it? I stir all together. You can see the colors all harmonized together. So, you leave it to cook a little bit for like two minutes. So, you can see how the hard mist to it. So, you can see that. You can see I have juice in it. You can see it's exactly what I want. I have juice in it. So, let me just have a taste. Okay. So, it's all tender. Then you add your pasta to it. And it's mixed together. So it's almost ready to serve. Almost ready. Almost ready. Wow. You can see the colors. See the lovely location of all the colors. The peppers, the onions, the carrots, all colorful. Just like the rainbow. It's ready to serve. Let's go on a little break. When we come back, we'll plate. Welcome back to Taste Bud. Now we're ready to plate and we want to plate the spaghetti, vegetable spaghetti with the crumb chicken we've made. So let's just do the plate thing and have a taste. Oh. So it's going to be lovely. You can see the beauty in cooking the pasta whole. So, when you cook it whole, you have a nice presentation. You can see the rolls together. And let me add some vegetables in it. Some parts of the vegetables in it.
so wow so lovely so just the chicken crumbs you can serve it on the side wow i can't wait to have a taste of this mm. let's just have a taste of this mm. so lovely so that's it we have a lovely crumb chicken, tender crumb chicken and vegetable pasta on the side. So as I said earlier, if you know a lover of chicken, you can try it with prawns, you can try it with fish, you can try it with beef. All goes together with your lovely pasta. You can try another pasta, you can try tagatelli pasta, you can try macaroni, you can try um, fusilli pasta, any type of pasta you want to try with it. It all goes together. So via your vegetables and you have your crumbs you have your flour you have your egg wash you have your crumbs and your peppers it all goes nice all this lovely ingredient was supplied to us by supermart.ng you can try this at home just take a picture and tag us on all our social networks scrolling on your screen so i come your way next time keep watching taste board on rt tv see you next time